Hey guys, how you doing? It's Dom and Graham, and Graham needs to come off the screen. Hang on. Live streaming, live streaming video games. <laughs> you on twice. Sorry. It's all right. <laughs> That's because I'm popular. Yeah, welcome. Uh, when you <clears throat> join us, or you're starting. Uh, or you will be joining us in a bit, or you're starting to join us now. We appreciate it. The screen's not on. I mean, the screen's not on. It's fine. No, it's not on the video, though, is it? Uh, hang on. Let's restart. Let's see if that works. Do, 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 As I picked do. myself up, all I could hear was the ceaseless is it working? Of traffic. Life no, no. right. Close, close there. Close, yeah. close scum. Alright, hang on. There you go. So closing scum. Yep. Cool. Try again. Excuse me, guys. Technical issues, which we we thought we worked out. <laughs> there you go. So, what are we doing? Start, Start. game. Oh, you know right. what it is? I didn't squit. I didn't add the. I don't think I did the thing, did I? I don't know. I didn't add the screen. Uh -huh. that's, that's the problem. Ooh. That's the problem. I didn't add the screen. Uh, where is it? Window. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Hey. There we are. Technical issue. So we're playing Broken Sword. Graham, would you like to give a little bit of background as to why we're playing Broken Sword today? Uh, you, you've never heard of Broken Sword, have you? I'd heard of it years ago through friends of mine when I was living and working in York, um, but that was very long, a very long time ago. I didn't really know much about it. I just knew there was a game developer in York, and I thought that was pretty cool. Right, well, Revolution Software originally started in Hull, and then they moved to York a long okay. time ago, and they did... Um, what I played when I was really young was um, Lure of the Temptress on the Atari ST. Okay. And then um, Beneath the Still Sky on... Would I play that on the Amiga? Or the PC, I can't remember. It was one of the two. Okay. And then I didn't realise, but um, I, I got quite obsessed with point-and-click adventure games, and I got Broken Sword when that came out in 1996. And it was November 1996, so it's, okay. you know, almost... I think we've just gone the... Is it 25th anniversary? All right, yeah. Whichever, yeah. Um, oh. And yeah, it's um, it's it's a really good game. That it's a bit of an underdog. It, I didn't realize that it was the same company that made Lure of the Tempest that I played when I was a kid. Okay. Um, so yeah. just this whole based company. York now. York, yeah, but but they made the, when they were based in Hull or York, they yeah. made these games that you played when you were a kid. So that's yeah. cool. So obviously we're yeah. based in the north of England. We I, I we currently both live in Hull. So it's pretty cool as a game developer in Hull uh, that does these kinds of games. And to be honest, man, I, I'm I'm going by, completely by your taste here because point and click games for me have have never I've never traditionally been into them. Uh, I'm more of a, a PlayStation gamer and stuff like that. But I'm very interested in this. Again, I've heard really good things about this game series. Again, fantastic that it's a, a northern based company. Um, so yeah, I'm willing to give it a try, and this would be the first first in hopefully many. Uh, game series that we do as part of a new section of the channel called the Game Sphere, um, where me and Graham get together and play play video games. It's been like an hour and a half of prep trying to do this, trying to get it all sorted out. Hopefully you can hear us okay, see us okay, and this goes all right. There are four people in. We do have some comments. Uh, one is from Emma. Uh, hello, darling. How are you doing? Nice to see you from, from, from a couple of doors down. And then Bobby... Bobby Birchall's in. Hi, Bobby. I have no idea who you are, but welcome to the channel. Hi, welcome. Uh, thank you so much for being here. We really appreciate you. Uh, we are trying to play some Broken Sword. Uh, I, I do want to point out as well that you have played some point click adventure games without realising it because you've yeah. played Walking Dead and yes. um, The Wolf Among Us, which yes. are, well, they were by Telltale, which is a splinter of LucasArts, which love is Monkey Island and stuff. Love yeah. those games. I've got a feeling you're going to love this, but you are going completely blind. And yeah, I, I think am. this is going to be very funny. Completely blind. So yeah. So let's <laughs> so let's do this thing. So we are going to go again. Hopefully this goes all right. This is the first time we've ever done this. So fingers crossed, uh, it goes okay, and you follow us all right and everything. Uh, do leave a comment and stuff if you want. 
Uh, subscribe and support the channel on video games. Uh, it's a brand new thing we're trying to do on Soundsphere, so give us a bit of a like and subscribe if you can. Um, in fact, I'll try and uh, just because this is what we're supposed to supposed to do. We're supposed to promote, so we're going to have a little streaming thing there. Look at us being all professional. Uh, we, Very professional. We tried to sort the audio out. Hopefully the audio is okay. Uh, we could put the audio in headphones for whatever reason when we were screen sharing and stuff. Uh, so hopefully this works out all right. Um, I believe we've had another comment as well, Graham. I'll, I'll do that. Yeah, if you want to do the comments. So Bobby says, I'm very jealous. I would love to be playing this for the first time again. Ha ha. Oh, awesome. You will absolutely love it. I I totally agree. I would love to be able to play this game okay. again for the first time, and you will love it. Okay, cool. So we're going to start. Yep, go for it. Okay. All right, let's Paris do this. in the fall, the last months of the year mm. and the end of the millennium. I remember that it's very to... cinematic. Seals, Don't, press that. Don't press that. Don't press that. Okay. Cafes, music, when we were testing, I had to press escape to see it. Yeah. If you skip this bit, you skip the entire scene, and it's very important. Ooh, it's exciting. I can't believe these guys are from, like, Hull and York, man. This is so cool for me. Yeah. Uh, their, yeah. their office is down the shambles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I did, I did hear about this season. Does anybody know how they got their deal? How did they how did they get noticed by so it, what this game was actually a bit of an experiment by Virgin. Okay. Um what what happened was obviously back in the mid, well late 80s, early 90s, point and click adventure games were a, a big industry. And you had, you know, the likes of Simon the Sorcerer, Monkey Island, you yeah. know, games like that, and they were, you know, they were selling really well. Um and Virgin thought, what we'll do is we'll pump a load of money into a project and see what happens, you know, see if they can make yeah. money out of it. So this was an experiment. Um, and it, it, it paid off. There's five games. Two of them got remastered. Oh, wow. Um, Beneath Seal Sky got a, a sequel recently, and uh, it's coming out on consoles at the end of this month. Nice one. Um, yeah, so they're, they're doing fairly well, I think. Yes, it's all. This is incredible. It's very cinematic, isn't it? I'd love to do an interview with these guys for, for Salesforce, dude. I'd like, love to get on that. We'll see. <laughs> Graham, Graham does all of our comic book and uh, video game content. Um, Speaking of um, comic books, the remaster of this and the remaster of Broken Sword 2 and... Oh, don't, don't, don't talk over this bit. This is beautiful. It is, it is really, really nice, Stunning. isn't it? This is gorgeous. Whoa! I wasn't expecting that. Sorry. You're a friendly looking clown, aren't you? It's like a Disney sort of Yeah, film, it's a bit, it? bit darker than a Disney film, though. But it, it, you're right, it does look like a Disney film. Whoa! So the clown just blew everybody up. Yeah. So what we're saying was Broken Sword 1 and 2, the remasters, had additional artwork by, um, oh, God. My mind's going okay. blank. I'm so having a brain fire. I've, okay. had a, I've had a rough week. It's okay. Dave Gibbons. All I could hear was the ceaseless drone of traffic. Life it. went on around me. But the explosion was to change my life forever. Um, okay. And he did the artwork for Beneath Steel Sky and Beyond the Steel Sky. He's obviously more famous for doing the artwork for Watchmen, but he's also yeah. worked for DC Comics in 2000 AD for uh, a long time. Amazing. It's cool. So, so we've got a couple of options here. We're outside the Bistro Cafe. It's sort of pretty sort of Parisian type of vibe location-wise. Uh, there's a newspaper there that I can pick up um, and a couple of other things Um available for me to interact with so i'm gonna use the hand and scroll over the newspaper and go and pick that up the leading article referred to the visit of a nobel prize winner from some unpronounceable eastern european state that was the only news story the rest was rumor gossip and sensationalism then i noticed the writing at the foot of the page it read salah Adin, 1345 Bobby says he came across this on a demo disc for the PS1 wow. and he was hooked. 1996, this game was made. Just look at it. Yeah, I mean, it, it, is, it is beautiful. I can't believe that, man. It, man. I can't believe that. It's incredible to think that this came out on the PlayStation 1. Yeah. Um, and it looks 
like it does because it, you know, it's all it's gorgeous, isn't it? They don't it's make stunning. games like this anymore. It's absolutely stunning, sir. So. Don't go up there. Right, okay. <laughs> this is where Graham's right. really good. You've got I, three options, right? I've never played this before, so this is what Graham's here to do is help me out. Right, you can go in that alley up there where the clown went, okay, or you can go up there, or you can go in the cafe. I would recommend you go in the cafe. Well, yeah, but why would I want to? Because why would you want to leave the scene? You want to go check, make sure the, the waitress is okay. I want to go after the clown. Yeah, but you went that way. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Right, so we're going in. I uh, just want to say thanks to the five people checking us out on our very first ever video game stream. So I've entered this cafe now, and there's the waitress. So I'm going to go check on the waitress. I feel like that's... You're the... walk straight past the uh, the guy who's got a table on him. I feel it's, like... It's fine, you know. I feel like that's the, the, the moral thing to do, is to check on the waitress. That's a, it's a bit sexist, isn't it? I, don't, I mean, that wasn't my intention, Graham. <laughs> You're the only one pointing it out. Yeah, just because she's blonde, isn't it? Uh, it's a cartoon cat. Well, not okay. She's a video game character. Going, can you can you do that? Can you can you help the guy with the table? You'll, you'll find out. Will you? oh, I will. George Stobart, ma'am. Oh, American. She asked the question quite innocently, but I could sense her reserve. It was something which seemed to afflict all Europeans. You look like you could use a little help. I could use a little drink. It sounds like the. Background porn. You look like you could use a little help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do you recognise the voice actor for the main character? What happened? There's been an explosion. You should try that tomorrow. Wait till he's finished talking. So the the voice actor for George Stobart is a guy called Rolf Saxon. Okay. And he did the voiceover for the American version of the Teletubbies. Oh, no way. And he was the president in Little Britain. Oh, wow. He was also in one of the Mission Impossible films, and he's done loads. I've got some audio books with him on. He's a quite a prolific voice actor and actor. So, so I'm scrolling over the table. But because you're in a conversation, at the bottom you've got yes and no. Right. You, you weren't listening to her, were you? So I'm, she, she said, said, am I, she said, am I a doctor? Do I lie? Can I lie or can I tell the truth? Like, it's entirely up to you. Hang this, on this a is second. a game of morals. Are you kidding me? <laughs> right, okay. I'm not going to lie. No, but I used to play hospitals when I was a kid. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Do you remember anything at all? I, need to I feel like this game would have been more excited had I lied already. Like, what? She that. said, pour me a brandy. Well, well, why would I say no to that? No. <laughs> I don't want to pour you a brandy. Go on then, love. Is that straight or with ice? Just give me the bottle like, with a tick on it. There's a, a little drop won't hurt. There's a, been a massive explosion, and oh, she's and, like, she and she could be in shock, and you know, blimey. <sighs> Drink, drinks like the French bread, didn't she? That was a goal. I was glad I wasn't picking up the check. What about the old man? Is he dead? All right, I don't know, do we? <laughs> uh, yes, <laughs> he's dead. Uh, I don't know, I haven't looked at him yet. Perhaps you should. Uh, right. Okay. There's, there's your conversation choices. You've got the uh, gentleman who's probably right. dead and the clown. Your game, your player. Well, what do you mean? Why? I'll, I'll... Or you can leave the conversation. Well, hang on a second. Why would I want to go after the clown? No, th you, this is a conversation you're having. Oh, what right. are you going to talk about? Well, I'll talk about the old man then. Did you know the old man? <clears throat> no, monsieur. I never saw him before. Right, okay, well, that's great. Well, uh, press it again. How did the old man behave? Well, <laughs> agitated. He kept looking about him at the door, at his watch. As if he was waiting for someone? Yes, I suppose so. He was worried about something, that's for sure. If you ask me, he was having an affair. He had that look about him. Wow. Like a gifty husband. No, he's, mm. he's, he's very judgmental there, love. Okay. Do you remember what happened when the clown entered? I remember that horrible tune he played on it. It was like a funeral dirge. I never liked the accordion music either. <laughs> Did the clown speak to the old man? No, he just laughed at him. Then he, he grabbed the old man's briefcase and ran out of the door. Okay. Mm. So I'm going to find out what's in the briefcase. Did you see what the old man had in his briefcase? No, he didn't open it. Okay, all right. What did the old man do when the clown snatched his briefcase? Nothing. He just sat there like he oh, was man. frozen. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a collaboration. It's a conspiracy. The clown and the old man. 
they're in it together. Clearly, they're in it together. You, you had me up until you said they're in it together. It is a conspiracy, but they're not in it together. He didn't have a chance. The clown dropped you the Sorry. podium and ran out of the door. That's it. That's all I can remember. Right, okay, so I'll leave this conversation. Yep. Stay here, mademoiselle. What's that? I'm going to look around for evidence. Right, okay. He's like typical 90s American, isn't he, with his like curtains and stuff? Yeah. I love it. I love it. Right, so, okay. You're still going to ignore the guy. <laughs> oh, he's there now. All right. Yeah, he's still there. He's still on the floor. <clears throat> I tried not to meet his stare as I searched the dead man's pockets. No wallet, no papers, no credit cards. The guy's past was a blank page. Cool. Oh okay. All right. So he's a blank page. Right. Try right clicking on him. Well, I want to. No, no. I'm just going to say check his, stuff. Check his pockets again. His pockets. Nothing. Right. Uh, right click on him. The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes. Yeah, it worked. Turned my knees to jelly. We're working on the working on Matt guys. You see, this is. Yeah. Right. So the sight of his dead eyes turned something to jelly. Okay. Cool. Right. So he's dead then. Definitely. The I'm going to get that again because I missed it. The sight of the dead guy's staring eyes turned my knees to jelly. Okay, that's very atmospheric. Can I leave now, Graham? It's very well written, this. It isn't is. It? It's really well written. Yeah, right, I'm off. I'll see you, love. Take care. Have a nice day, even though your, your cafe is blown up. So now your options are where the clown went, to the right, or to the alley where the, uh, the guy's digging up the road. Well, well, I mean, what's the more exciting option for a couple of people that are in? I mean, I reckon, I reckon the clown bit, right? Oh, yeah, if you want to do that, that. is a real suggestive finger. Like, <laughs> like I said this when we were setting up. I'm like, I'm a little bit concerned about. It's like, it's like, come here. It's weird. Go on, then. Right, I'm, I'm coming. It's like a little Mickey Mouse hand, isn't it? Is it working? Is it going to work? Yeah, it is. I think. This is creepy. Stop, 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 stop beckoning to me. All right, there you are. And then you want to go up the alley. Uh, right, no, okay. no, that alley. All right. There you go. Okay. Right, all right, so I'm walking up the alley. I'm, I'm getting poked in the bum. Poking me. Right. Bobby <laughs> says, how is he going to pay for his coffee with no wallet, the rascal? Oh, uh, exactly. Exactly, Bobby. Yeah. Mm, maybe he's a wrong one. Maybe Right, okay. So did they have contactless payments in uh, in 1996? They did not. They did not. Know. Right, I'm looking in the bin. That seems like the first logical thing to do, to look for a clown. <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell, man. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> Jesus Christ, right? It's in this one. <laughs> Okay, no thing in that one. Right? <laughs> okay. It smelled like someone had dumped a truckload of fish in a locker room on a hot summer afternoon. That's specific. Mm. Right, we'll see where else we can go. Is there anything else we can do here? Oh, what's this? Boxes. I examined the boxes closely. They were damp and smelly and decidedly... It's, it's, like, a, it's like a 50s, 60s, like detective film yeah it's, it's good color. isn't it it reminds me of tintin yeah uh bobby laughed i'm guessing at your um jump scare <laughs> i examined the boxes closely okay would would we smelly and decidedly empty. i really wanted to know how he felt about the boxes again right well the clowns come this way aren't they so where's he gone well yeah well, i don't know where he's gone great because he's not in the bin clearly uh and there's not a lot of options i can click on here where am, what am I missing? Oh, there's a window. Well, that didn't help. No. Nope. Right, okay. Well, is there a, what else is there? Shall I, shall I spoil it a little bit for you? Well, no. Well, I take, I'm quite... I'll, I'll, I'll give you hints. There's yeah. there's a drain pipe to your character's right, All right. and there's also a drain I cover breath, on the floor. I to climb the drain pipe. <laughs> Just the clown had an escape over the rooftop. Okay, so there's no, yeah, there's no, okay. There's and there's no... the old, also the man. Ah, there you go, look. Yeah. There we go. Right, I'm getting in there then, aren't I? <laughs> this is beautifully done. I tried to lift the cover with my You want me? couldn't gain any leverage. 
Well, the fuck mm. am I? Might need a the tool. Was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare a hands. tool. He's saying you can't lift it with his bare hands, so one would assume that you need a tool. Well, and, yeah. And well, have you seen any workmen or anything? Oh, you. Oh, I'm gonna have to go back and get, go go see the dude on the road working on the road. Shit, man, it's not easy, is it? Nothing simple about this. Bobby asks if if you um. It, go on. It, this is Dom, by yes, the way. Hey, mate. He's dumb. Um, if you're aware of the right click control, yeah, we've we've done that already. So, yeah, Dom sort of knows what he's doing. He's getting. To be I, fair, he's picked this up pretty well because he's never played it before. Yeah. Hang on, someone's Please. trying to shoot me. Hold it! I'm not there. Oh, don't shoot! I'm innocent. I'm an American. Can't make up your Naturally, mind. you're yeah. if you're I American, you. Yeah. Hey, Bobby. Thanks for joining, mate. With that thing away, Southern. I apologize, monsieur, but I cannot permit you to leave. Am I under arrest? Uh, no, I would simply like to ask you some questions. On he did, Bobby. I'm, I'm quite, uh, I'm quite pleased. I, I kind of want to do the entire series, well, if, we've, um, we've if got, time permits. But we've got time, right? We'll, we'll see how it goes. So we're back, we're back in the cafe. This by the, by this time, she's. Not, watch this. This is funny. This. Do you try and give me a reach? Stop holding your breath at once. <laughs> What's going on? Has it occurred to you that he may be dead? Move. <laughs> we must see but I prefer to look on the bright side. Besides, I recall a case where the killer escaped by failing death. Okay. He's competent. However, in this case, the man is quite dead. Clearly, the killer knew of his presence. <laughs> Good to know. How many times have I warned you about premature extrapolation? Premature, premature what now? <laughs> yeah, and that as well. The dialogue on this is ace. That's a different move. They were comedy Belgians. Anyway, it is unlikely that even you will learn much from talking to the dead. <laughs> Examine the girl and take her statement. Harsh. If you can. You missed a, a great line earlier on. He said, um, you know, he said, don't shoot. I'm innocent. I'm an American. Yeah, no, said, oh, I, I get that. Yeah, can't I make up like, your mind there. Eh? Clearly, clearly, uh, <laughs> clearly Americans are always innocent. Yeah. We have stumbled upon a den of iniquity. Leave out to me, sir. I am used to handling drunken women. <laughs> not doubt that for one moment. Oh my God! Now, to business. To business. I literally, I legitimately thought he was trying to give me a reach around here. <laughs> trying Stone to grab my nuts. I'm from California. Digital nuts. And what brings you to Paris, Monsieur Stobart? Travel. I'm touring Europe. You chose well. The city is most beautiful at this time of year. Like, no, no one's that bothered uh, that the cafe's yeah, just been blown up. So. He's just like, oh, we better take advantage of our Where tourism. Yeah. Like, oh, a tourist. Let's sell Paris. Yeah, I was sitting out on the sidewalk. I was lucky I wasn't killed. The inspector passed over my remark with no reaction. Did you see the deceased enter the cafe? Uh, Were you paying attention? Did I see him enter the cafe? In the cutscene, yeah, the, the, yeah. the dead guy. Yeah, yeah he was in there. Was he alone? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And did he say anything to you? No. He was more interested in the waitress. So were you. <laughs> you Don't judge me, Graham. See anyone else in the cafe? Oh, yeah, I saw the clown. Yeah, there. there was a guy dressed as a clown. He was carrying an accordion. An accordion? Um. Oh. The picture is forming in my mind, and it is not a pretty one. Well, he was a pretty ugly-looking clown, kind of is evil. The girl, all right, move. She'll live if she survives the hangover. She's hammered she by now. Yeah. Clown, Monsieur. I was going to know. By now, she's hammered. Don't you think, Monsieur? Who am I to believe? I wonder. Eh bien, I have heard enough. What do you mean? I am satisfied that you know nothing. You may leave. You know nothing. Does not spoil the rest of your vacation. I know nothing. Personal safety. Can't you at least give me some advice? 
What can I say? Stay alert and look out for suspicious characters. <laughs> and don't cross the road until the little man shows green. Great advice. Oh my god. I honestly believe you are in no danger, monsieur. Should you remember anything of importance, please contact me. My card. Okay. So this is gonna this card's gonna help me out, is it? If he's gonna give me his card. If I can Thanks. solve the mystery of the you may go. killer clown. All right, so I'm getting a vibe for this. There's not much to go on, monsieur. On the surface, no. But what the lurks is inside the subconscious? If the door can only be opened. Are you serious, monsieur? I thought your interest in psychic detection was purely academic. Academic? You are about to witness a scientific breakthrough okay is he is he like full-on hercule poirot he, he thinks he knows everything does this dude right okay Ooh, a new person right so i'll have a chat with you all right love do you recognize her no from the artwork i sent you Hi. oh i'm the ah yeah. this, the, 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 Whatever yeah, we like call it. Yeah. Cover thing. You were here when the bomb went off? Sure was. Incredible dress sense. It's a really nice purple skirt. Middle aged man, maybe 60, with an hat and overcoat. I couldn't believe it. She hadn't even asked how I was feeling. Yeah, he went inside just before the bomb exploded. You weren't related to him, were you? Oh, no, nothing like that. I am Nicole Collard from La Liberté. What's that? Some kind of nightclub? <laughs> no, it is a new <laughs> You're a reporter? I'm a freelance photojournalist. Very judgmental, hey, isn't it? You can interview me about the bombing. You know, an eyewitness account. Minutes after the outrage that shook the whole of Paris. Oh my you god. Know, real life drama. I don't know about this dude. Kind of... It seems like he's a bit egotistical, this guy. Did you see he's funny you though, isn't he? Yeah. He's really crazy, funny. But he was dressed like a clown. Oh god. It's him again. Again? Mm. Okay, wait a second. So we've had this clown dude before, right? Who's that? That's Inspector Rosso. That's the dude that's uh, psychic and inside yeah, him. Okay, yeah, Hercule Poirot marked here, right? Yeah. He's, and he's the he's the support. He's the dead fella. Yeah, uh, the dead fella. Right? I'll speak Who's the guy you were supposed to meet? His speak. name was Planter. I didn't know him, but he called me last night. He said he had a story which would interest me. He asked me to meet him at the cafe. I guess I'll never know what he wanted to tell me. Uh, not unless you have Rosso's gift for psychic interrogation. Please tell me he's got like superpowers that we use at some point. The the the, <laughs> the, the detective with like super psychic. Look, this is very much set in the real world. Okay, goddammit. Um, All right, I'll just, just for the turn of the millennium, it's late nineties. You speak very English from America. <laughs> Even though there's no British characters in it yet, How did it's, it's, it's very English humour, isn't it? Yeah. I'd written an article linking two unsolved murders, one in Italy, the other in Japan. Wow. Are you together. breaking out the Maltesers? I am. No apparent motive. Oh, so and a costumed killer. Oh, yeah, there's... Oh, man. Sorry, guys. Graham's, Graham's getting through his Maltesers. Yes. Yes. Right, hang on. Let me just get me a second more to you. Sorry, man. Have you met the clown before? It's a long story. I have plenty of time. Why would she answer yeah. that? <laughs> like the game would be solved by now. <laughs> oh, she know the clown. Oh, yeah, he's my mate. Right, okay. I want to know more about this dude. This guy's my favourite dude. Psychic policeman is my favourite dude. Have you seen Russell? Is he here? He's inside, attempting to question a witness with his psychic powers. That guy is weird. Yeah. <laughs> I love it, mate. I love it. Right. Russell didn't bother oh. when I told Sorry. him about the clown. It's as if Stop he already taking... knew. That's typical of a cold fish like Russell. I've seen cheeseburgers with more sperm. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. That is, yeah, very British humor. Why won't you tell me about this clown? Well, why do you want to get involved? Because he almost killed me. It's like a serial killer clown. Okay. I guess so. Listen, I'll give you my phone number. 
Huh. Oh, why? You add me with my story and I'll let you in on what I know. And let's get one thing straight right now. This is strictly business. Okay, it's a deal. Well, why would it not be? These pictures. I'll be able to promise you. Fine, I'll uh, see you soon. I don't, she's just sort of assuming that I'm interested. She's giving me a phone number and assuming... Well, she's French. Dude, that's super judgmental. What are you on about? French. The French are beautiful people. Yeah, but they're not like... You don't just assume that, they, you know, you give a number and you weren't going to get banged, you know? <laughs> it's, a, it's a pretty judgmental moment. So we've had a few more comments, Graham. Blown up. Better never pulled. Yeah. George has pulled. George has pulled, yeah. Yeah, yeah it was. Definitely. Yeah. Right. It's only fair, isn't it? Right. Okay. So I can go that way. Yep, go that way. All right then, I will. And you're about to meet. Um, if if there were such a thing as a, a French Brexit voter, okay. you're about to meet him. Oh, I'll speak to him. Okay. He's one of my favourite characters. He, he's he's so funny. Okay. Hi, can you spare a few minutes? <laughs> I thought you'd been arrested. No, it was a misunderstanding. When he pulled that gun, gah, I thought that was it. Those automatics are quite a bunch, you know? You made a mistake. <laughs> I do oh, love I terrorist. love this dialogue. I really you mean. a terrorist? Ha! It was always a doing terrifying that. terrorist. You gotta remember as well, this game was from before 9-11. Yeah, of course. Wow. You know, so it was um no, you're in conversation with him. You've got to oh, pick pick options look. I don't I don't I don't like him already. Did you see no, he's, he's so funny. Okay. He looks like he's gonna give me a tough time. Do you know what he said to me? Work fascinates me, he says. I could watch it all day. Girl beat. I could have knocked this block off. <laughs> okay. Did you recognize the old man? No. Should I have done? Was he a celebrity? No, but I guess he is now. His name was Planta. Was? He's dead then? Yeah. That's too bad. Now I wish I hadn't called him what I did. <laughs> if only I could turn back the clock. If only I'd been more tolerant. Regret and remorse are strange emotions. They really bring out the hammiest actors and people. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. I can see why you like this dude. Did you see a clown? It's good, isn't it? This is a classic. Like in a circus. Considering when yeah, it was made as well. Yeah. Those guys are funny, aren't they? Not in my experience. I love the circus, especially the horses. You haven't answered my question. Have you seen a clown? You think I've got time to watch everyone who passes by? <laughs> Some of us have to work for a living. When's he going to give me his tool is what I'm after. Look, I know <laughs> Which sounds a bit weird. Surely you have noticed a clown. I told you already. I didn't see a thing. He was wearing multicolored baggy trousers and makeup. <laughs> it was sort of clown if he didn't. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, it's so I funny, this game, isn't it? He's a killer. Say, who are you, anyhow? I bet he's the clown. That's, I've solved it. I've solved the game. I guess not. How do you know this guy's a killer? Did you see him in action? Didn't you hear the explosion? The cafe was blown up. The clown killed the old man? That's right. Blew him up with a bomb concealed in his squeeze box. Merde. But why did he go to the bother of dressing up like a clown? Who can unravel the tangled logic of a killer's mind? I guess it's some deep-seated psychological need. Or just plain showmanship. Right. You can also show him your inventory at the top. It's a bit forward, Graham. Right. So, so which one? So, do the business. Like no, I was going to say do the business card first. I don't read it. I want, I want him to read my newspaper. I haven't got time to read that. Can't you see I'm busy? You can read it on your lunch break. Ten minutes is all I get. And yeah. if my boss had his way, I wouldn't get that. You'd Where's my mouth? So I didn't have to stop. It's in me. conversation. Just, oh, just leave it. Right. You'll come back. Okay, like, cool. just listen, this is brilliant, this. I love this bit. Ah, look at these damn bleeding-out liberals. Yeah, 
save the dolphins. Catch them and eat them, I say. All that fuss over a bunch of fish. Ah, that's more like it. Look at the size of those. Yeah. Like champagne bottle corks. Ah, what is Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> Amazing. Can we can we can we take him on board? Can he be like our sidekick? <laughs> Do me a favor, won't you? Keep an eye on my hole. I'm off to put some money on that night. He wants me to keep an eye on his hole, guys. Can I get in the hole? Like legitimately, I've lost my thing. <laughs> right, I will say that there's a toolkit there and a phone there. Thanks, Graham. In case you want to ring anyone. Right, so a right. door there, a door there, and a tool kit in the tent. Is it a tent? Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. I found just what I wanted a tool <laughs> for lifting manhole covers. Okay, cool. So I'm gonna go up. right. Okay, so a foot. Where's the foot? It's that little box thing there. Uh, it's, oh, there you go. Yeah. We're not we're not operating on a full screen here, guys. It's a small screen, so my eyesight is not great. Right? Okay. Fine. Okay. Good. So you got Nico there, and then you've got Saladin, which is no longer important. You give it to the bloke, and he's right. He's gone. Bonjour, Kula. This oh, is ace. Hi. It's this such good graphics, isn't it? Yeah. The American at the cafe. Ah, oui. Uh, you said to call if I could help. Have you any news for me? Well, I haven't had a lot of luck. You found nothing? Uh, no. Look, I'm very busy right now. Call me if you have any news, okay? Oh, yeah, I guess. A deal with you. Yeah, see ya. Amazing. Right. Okay. So I'm going to hold it there. The door was securely locked. Okay, well, I can't go there, can I? Oh, hang on. There we go. Just flipped off there. I don't know what's going on there. Okay, cool. Sorry. We, we, we had a bit of a technical issue there. I'm going back towards my manhole bit. And down the alleyway where the cat scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that was so funny. You're a dick. <laughs> Because I knew it was coming as well. <laughs> Thanks for coming over. Thanks for setting this up for me. But you started. Thanks, right. man. Right. All right. So right, the cat's gone. So that's that. Okay. So there's my manhole bit. There we are. What, what, the what? cover was too heavy and awkward to lift with my bare hands. Bobby right. says introducing George's massive pockets. This is a bit of a joke now. Um, when right. you get your your tool out. You'll see what he means. Right, hang on. So your inventory's at the top of the screen, remember? Ah, right, yeah, I'm with you. Okay. So there's my business card, there's my inventory. Yeah, so use it on oh, there. Oh, wow. You, you'll cool. see what I mean by is... Um, you can drag it in. Yeah, yeah, but you have to get it on the actual... Oh. Yeah. But you'll, the animation will show you like how deep his pockets are. It's a bit of a running joke. Right, well, so there, I'm on it. No, don't. You're, the arrow wants to be on it. There you go. Oh. <laughs> that is that is huge straight back in his pocket look it's like a magic tree cover to reveal what smelled like the entrance to a sewer am i going in okay i'm so going it's down you. it's your game oh mate what do i do i guess might, i go down might be a clown down there well it's not gonna be nearly as scary as the cat from the bin is it right this is eight. Oh my god, I'm in the sewer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What can you see before you. Oh, do I have to tell you? No. And what can I see? Look carefully. <gasps> is that a red nose? I realized it was intended to be worn. 
It's a red nose, isn't it? Yeah. Ah, I've solved the mystery. It was the clown's red nose. Mmm. So he definitely came this way. What is that? It looks real dangerous. Oh, no. okay. It's a sewer. And go around it. I thought like I felt like I was gonna jump on it or something. And it would... See, Paris is famous for its underground yeah. sewer system and catacombs. I did. Yeah. Well, I've, I've been in the catacombs, but I've been around them. Very brave, isn't he? Just like mm. going after the clown. Okay. What's this? I took hold of the scrapping material and unsnagged it from the spider. Oh. Right. Yeah, I don't think I don't think it's safe to go down there. Oh. Nope. Nope. Up. 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 Oh, is that a ladder? Up a bit. Yeah. Up a bit. No. Oh, sorry. Sorry. That's sorry. Oh, I see. There you go. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> What are you talking about? You're trespassing. Come out of there immediately. That's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> Give me your hand. These guys are hilarious. Ah, you won't catch me with chicks like that. Yeah. Keep your distance, monsieur. Okay, okay. Now, watch where you're looking. I do love the aesthetic so much. It's, really it's cool. nice, isn't it? Right, so I'm going to ask him about... Uh, <coughs> terrorists, the meanest, nastiest, dirtiest bunch of guys you ever saw. Yeah, uh, Englishmen without a doubt. <laughs> okay, <laughs> super good man. Open that tunnel was a bad day for France. I tell you, if I still had the full use of my faculties, I'd march right over there and tell them so. Well, whoever they are, they blew up the cafe. What? The cafe? Blown up? Mon Dieu! That is awful. The guy who did it was a calculating, cold-blooded killer. It was disguised as a clown. I, I was hoping he was going to say, sewer, and I think a calculating, cold-blooded clown. Huh? Mon Dieu! Nice alliteration. The man I chased. Do you think that man and the clown are... <gasps> One, One and the same? Well, <laughs> I yes, love this game. crossed my mind. I'm more concerned that I just popped up my head out of the sewer and this guy's just engaging me in conversation. <laughs> like, all right, mate. It looks like you're in his garden as well, doesn't it? Yeah. Like he's loaded and he lives in a really nice house. <laughs> uh, okay, mate. Cool, cool, cool. Um, I'm guessing we'll go with... Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, hey, she is a hurt. She's amazing. I love her, man. A poor girl like her isn't safe with the likes of you, Robbie. Oh, Can't my you gosh. Understand? I'm not a gangster. I'm an American tourist. <laughs> ah, that's what you said. He was telling me about, he was just telling me about his faculties, you know, trusting me with this sensitive information. Now he's calling me a terrorist. Saying I'm in the street, right? Uh, Was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? I, I, I didn't notice. Uh, no, I think I he's in on it. Oh, yeah, I, I think he's in on it. I do. His, his speech tells me he's in on it. It's like a hotel clown conspiracy. Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Who is he? The man who was killed in the cafe. I'm going to find the guy responsible. I'll find him. Even if it means following him down every sewer in every city in Europe. Huh? Okay. Will you need some sensible boots? You want to buy in those stupid sneakers. <laughs> okay. Thanks, man. Tell me about the man you apprehended. <laughs> what is there to tell? 
He was a typical criminal type. Is he the clown? Just like you. Is he the clown? I feel like he might be the clown. Take a look at this false nose. I've never seen it before in my life. Turn this on again. All right, yeah. I gotta say, guys, we've got a technical issue today. There we go. We saw Graham's charge out. Right. Okay. Do you recognize this material? I am not telling you anything. Mate, I think he's. I think he did it. What you need to do is convince him that you need to know. What have you got that could convince you? Convince him. Perhaps you'd like to take a look at my car. Uh, mm -hmm. What is this, Inspector Augustin? Also, so basically, you lie to also, get what you need to do, is it? A homicide. I think the ink's smudged. Mm -hmm. And you are not a Tommy's. Okay, I'm not. I lied to you, and I'm sorry. Don't apologize, Monsieur. <laughs> you know, I feel I had a feeling there was morally uh, questionable. You. It is your posture, your your poise. Oh, yes. There is no mistaking the bearing of a, a disciplined man. And I should know. I was in the army, you know. He's changed, his, he's changed his tune. He's gone from being super judgmental, talking to me about his faculties. How can I help you, Inspector? Let's start over from the beginning and tell it just like it was. It's interesting that you bring up the morals of it because not only has he lied and pretended to be a policeman, He's also ditched the hole that he was looking after and pinched the manhole cover. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, tool. We've got uh, Chris Hardy in. How you doing, man? Let's see you, Top, mate. You all right? Oh, it's Topper. How yeah. are you doing, Topper? You all right? All right, buddy. I just saw a video. Emma showed me a video earlier of you uh, jumping out of your skin to some some weird gremlin thing on a top of a cupboard. I think it was something you posted earlier, um, but it scared the living daylights out of me. Um, not just lie, lie and steal. The sewer key got you into the, his backyard. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I, I really do feel like this game probably is about lying, cheating, and stealing. Um, Rick Flair would love it, wouldn't he? Rick Flair, Eddie Guerrero. Yep, yeah, absolutely right. Okay, I said Eddie Guerrero, and it not Rick Flair. Oh well, no, Rick, Rick Flair is um is uh, the kiss stealing, wheeling dealing, mm. uh, limousine riding, Learjet flying, son of a gun. Woo! Um, right, okay, so... Does this piece of material mean anything to you? Uh, that is the same cloth as the jacket I found. I yeah, I'm good, thanks to you. Anywhere. Right. What does this tissue mean to you? Nothing is your oh. answer. I've never yeah. seen that tissue in my life. Possessed you to show it to me. Someone had emptied their nostrils into it. White tissue. Yeah. <laughs> right. So I can now pick. Okay, interesting. Do you know the waitress at the cafe? Oh, so is that just the same? No, but now he thinks you're a cop. Uh, so he's now more willing to uh, talk to you. I know her quite well. Oh my god, he's a player. I know her quite well, you could say. I look forward all week to the relief she gives me when she visits. Really? So, do, do you mean the game topper or the stream? That sounds like a euphemism, doesn't it? <laughs> this guy's a right player, mate. Dirty old pervert. Now, the <clears throat> hey, mate, he's in the army. I bet he's got some real guns. You know? <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Clown. Tell me about the man you apprehended. Oh, he was a mean one this year. He cracked me even if I'm luck. His face, suddenly next to mine, his grip was like iron. But he did not know what he was up against. Oh no, he made a big mistake when he took on one of the desert hyenas. Yes, yes, I get the picture. He's quite full of himself, isn't he? He is quite full of himself. Yeah, he's my new favourite character, though. Second only to the um, 
the Brexit loving, well, the pre Brexit loving uh, work. Safety dolphins. Yeah, safety dolphins. <laughs> <laughs> um, Catch them and eat them, I say. Oh, brilliant. Uh, so yeah, I'm running it on a Mac. Uh, so we've had we had a bit of a, a technical, a few technical issues running this uh, quiz before. It's the first time we've ever done it, and um, obviously we've had a couple of issues with audio. Uh, but yeah, I'm using Streamyard is what we use. Um, we we used to use OBS for the, the Give Me Your Whole Year podcast, and then we migrated to Streamyard, and it's been super helpful uh, doing stuff like this. It's been, I mean, now we know how to do it. Yeah. Except for the audio thing and not being able to use headphones, um, which is something we'll work, we'll figure out. Uh, but yeah, um, it's been pretty good sharing sharing the screen. Uh, but yeah, we're in StreamYard. It's pretty cool. It's useful. Um, uh, right. Okay. So I've, I've I've exhausted my options. Do you want to be on that? Oh yeah. So, <laughs> uh, right. So you want to talk about the other things? Oh. Um, yeah, the actual game we're running Take through scum the M as well. Nose. Yeah. Uh-huh. That looks like a clown's nose to me. Precisely. He must have dropped it in his panic. Unless he wanted you to find it. Why would he want to do that? To put you off this end. Zopper says the audio of the game isn't coming through. Oh, brilliant. Okay. It was coming through. Uh, was it coming through at any point? Uh, excellent. We had this problem before, didn't we? Can you hear it through your speakers by the sound of it? Yeah, yeah. that's how we've, how we've had to get yeah. around it because it just wouldn't work and we spent about an hour trying to get it to work. All ah, right, okay, thanks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we need to um, work out. I think I think there's um, a couple of issues, yeah, a couple of issues uh, with the audio. We need to figure that out. Uh, we tried to put it in my headphones, uh, but that didn't work. Um, so, yeah, we ended up we ended up doing it this way. Uh, so we could at least at least get something to you guys, um, but yeah, thanks thanks for letting yeah thanks for letting. Uh, would it help if we put subtitles on? I don't even know how I don't even know how we would do that. I do. Oh, We'd have to wait wait until we finish the conversation and then I'll put them on. Okay. Yeah, you you finish off the conversation. You um right. So I've done I've done the tissue the wank tissue. I've done the <laughs> wank tissue. I've done the cloth, right. Done everything. No, you haven't. Well, what do I need to do? We'll now? Do that one again. Where did you send the jacket? I gave it to an itinerant homony seamstress. Just my luck. Okay. Uh, Does the name Plantar mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. I've, I've changed my mind. The um... if, if it's still there, it means that there's still options oh, to okay. talk still about. Was the guy yeah. you saw carrying a briefcase? So you don't want to hear about my experiences in the desert? I thought to make this country what it is today. I'm sure you did, but I'm a little short of time. Okay, cool. So, was the guy you saw carrying a briefcase? Why, yes, he was. Clutched in his arms like a baby that belonged to his victim. Oh, what do you think was in it? Drugs? Stolen jewels? I don't know, but the killer thought it was worth a man's life. <laughs> Nothing is worth that, Monsieur. We shall see. Yeah, yeah. What do you think's in the briefcase? First impressions. Women's underwear. He's just said <laughs> women's underwear. He's just said you know drugs, stolen jewels. What yeah. do you think? Probably a clown outfit. There's probably multiple clowns. Right. Seriously, come on. That that guy's gone into the cafe with a briefcase. Money. Looking shifty. Clown's gone in there. Took the briefcase, planted the bomb. I'd say money. Skedaddled. Money. Yeah. Okay. Could be money, right? Yeah. Um, it's going to be worth some of it, though, isn't it? It'd be G string. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Yes. Yeah, Topper says it's a G string. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's probably, probably, uh, Big G screw. But yeah, you think, yeah, you, you think, you think, you'd think money, I would have said, uh, for that kind of thing. If, if, if the clown is, is trying to get money, maybe, trying to, it's a, it's a conspiracy, perhaps. And the clown had to know that he was there because yeah. it was targeted, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Chris, is, Chris is hoping for a G-string reveal. Um, yeah. There is actually a G-string in the second game. Well, there you go. There's um, more, more reason why we should play it then. Um, so I can't get back in my hole. You've still not spoken to him about the jacket yet. Oh, my God. Right. Fully. Is there anything in the jacket pockets? Mm-hmm. Not as so. You know what I think? Do tell me. 
he changed out of the clown suit and cunningly disguised himself as an ordinary person. Hmm. Looks like I'm up against a mastermind. <laughs> right. What? The, Chris is downloading a G string or, or the game? <laughs> You could probably download. You can, what, can... what is it you're downloading, Chris? Is it the uh, the game, Broken Sword? Yeah, from from a York and Hull based developer, well, formerly Hull, now yeah. York. There you go, the game, nice one. Yeah, you can um, you can buy it on GOG or Steam for quite cheap. And um, you can all if you go on GOG, you can also get the first two games by Revolution Software, which are Lure of the Temptress and Beneath the Still Sky, completely free. There you go. Uh, le legit legal download. Good, good so, snap. yeah, very highly recommended. They're a brilliant series of games. Right. Still got the jacket oh to go. What was the name on the label? Ah, it was a foreign name. Todd Leak, I think. Did you get the address? There wasn't one this year. Only a telephone number. Well, I don't expect you to remember a phone number you've only seen once. 74 The killing. That's his wow. phone number? It's yeah. impressive. Yeah. I was taught the technique by a Chuarek Shin. That's incredible. <laughs> it comes in handy at the supermarket checkout. <laughs> Do I get a reward? Honestly, monsieur, is its own reward. No props, Topper. I, um, I hope you enjoy them. They are really, really good yeah, games. Yeah, I'm enjoying this, man. I hope you enjoy yeah. them as well. I think this one has aged very well considering it's. What ninety six? It's twenty five years yeah, old, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, yeah, it will be, man. Yeah, twenty five. Yeah, you have it, to come. You have to come and hang out with us when we do a stream, man. You have to come and uh, yeah, chat with us. We'll yeah, squeeze yeah. you in. Squeeze you in the home office. You sit on my lap. Yeah, fine. It's totally fine. I'm, I'm sure right. I, I'd like to have Chris on my lap. So he's giving you a phone number for yeah. Todrick. Right. Okay. So, so uh, if you're done, I think you can go. Yeah. It's up to you. Right. Can so I? So you end the conversation with that little ah, bit. Ah, yeah. Cool. I have to be going. Thanks to your help. The citizens of Paris can sleep a little easier tonight. Raymond, I was only doing my duty, monsieur. Good luck, Inspector. I hope you catch that killer soon. I'll let you out. Cool. Well, he was very nice to me. Me neither, Topper. I've been eating Maltesers and pizza exclusively. <laughs> we're, we're having Maltesers right now, dude. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so what, what have you got to do now? I've got to get... Oh, where's, so, hang on a sec. I've got to get in his hole. Can I get in his hole? <laughs> Can I get in his hole? Um, right, okay, let's have a look. So that, that's what you've, I you've got a phone number for Todrick and you have to update Nico. <sighs> Back. He's got a phone there, I remember. Oh, right. Yeah. You pick this up pretty well, you know. You're doing quite well. Thanks, man. I appreciate the yeah. But okay, so Bonjour, you just want to get laid, don't you? It's me, George Stobart. <laughs> I, really, I, really, I really like the scare. You bet. I met a witness who spoke to the client. Is that is that a legit thing? Can you get laid in this game? No kidding. I'm not you're saying I'm not me. saying you're joking me. Nineteen ninety six video game porn. No. Sad, sadly not. Um, I won't spoil what happens at the end of the game, though. Okay, I'll come right over. <gasps> You've got a red dress. Don't forget to ring Todrick as well. Yeah. Todrick. Hello? Who is this? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, like legitimately like old school Disney characters. Yeah. You don't know me. Correct, Mr. Stobart. I don't. What can I do for you? Well... I'm trying to trace one of your customers. Could I maybe come over and talk to you? No, no, that's not possible. It's like oh, David okay. Beckham uh, 90s haircut as well, isn't it? Yeah. All I want. Yeah, is the, yeah, the, 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 the curtains. The Who are you working for? I guess you might say I'm acting in the interests of truth and justice. Uh, truth God. and justice are the American <laughs> way. <laughs> <laughs> Lives that you can save. Collecting for charity, yes? No, I'm not. All I want from you is information. Go on. I'm listening. 
Okay, cool. Right. So I'm. Yeah. Did you know a guy called Plantar? No, I never heard of him. Well, that's. Shall I tell you what happened to Plantar? How he was killed in cold blood? I told you, I never heard of Plantar. Hello. I expect Plantar is a family man. Don't you? In their little apartment, Madame Plantar is cooking the supper, listening for the familiar sound of her husband's key in the door. Junior is waiting for his daddy to come home. Wow, this work. dude's intense. Can't wait to show him the merit marks. <laughs> it's so well written, isn't it? Only tonight, Monsieur Plantar won't be coming home. You forgot the puppy, huh? The faithful puppy dog waiting for the sound of his master's voice. I am indeed. Uh, you're coming out anytime soon. I don't know Plata. I never heard of Plata. None of this has anything to do with me. Okay. What do you I'm know let him off. the clown who bombed the Café de la Chandelle Vert? I don't have no idea what you're talking about. You're cool, Tadric. But I think you know more than you're saying. I don't know who you'll be, but sure I am. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't know if you're saying that to make me think you don't know what I mean. But, oh, this is ridiculous. <laughs> Quit playing games with me, Tadric. I told you, I know nothing about no clown. I agree, Bobby. He is taking it quite well. Um, yeah, exactly. It's a weird conversation to have, especially when you're busy working. All it? of them as well. Like the dude just pops out of the of the of the of the, of the, of the you know sewers, and he's you know they're having a nice conversation. You know, dude yeah. just comes. You know, you walk past the dude, and he wants you to look after his hole. You know. Um. More clowning around. Customers was a part-time clown. If a guy feels happy with the funny nose and custard down his pants, what's the problem? Inbox me, mate. I'll I'll talk to you about that privately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually, I want to talk to you about that too. We'll do that after the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Right. Okay. So I'm coming out. For nothing, Oh, you dickhead. Ooh. Bit harsh, mate. Ooh. Bit, bit harsh. Well, it, to be fair, he can't help you. He, he needs a name. All you've got is like the jacket and the the guy's phone number. You know that's all you've got. Mm, I know that way. Oh no. Technical. Okay. Can I roll over this way? That that finger is really disconcerting. Okay. Cool. So Rougeri is where Nico lives, and then you got the police station, and obviously the cafe where she's been bombed. Okay. So, okay, please. That's, That's where you've just come from. Yeah, so I'm going to go. Okay, cool. Have a chat to this lady here. Oh, hi. Bonjour, monsieur. Yeah, a little bit, but uh, now I will talk to you about it, you know, on a different platform. <laughs> Thanks all the same, but I'm not superstitious. Besides, if it only takes a minute, that's not much of a future to look forward to. <laughs> it's very dry humor, isn't it? Yeah. Thing is, it's not a comedy game. It's no. it, you know, it's quite a serious it seems, game. Uh, like when it's... when you saw a clown blowing up a cafe in the first, I thought yeah. it was comedy. But uh... are the flowers for sale? Oui, monsieur. Okay, I'll take a bunch of those white ones. I wouldn't do that if I was you. <laughs> no, they are lilies, Monsieur. Some people associate them with death. So, Prask, how your other half's doing? Um, Thanks for telling it's me. It's not feeling at the moment. It's not feeling well at the moment, dear. She's got a bit of stomach pain, uh, but she's currently sleeping, trying to get some rest. And I had my COVID booster last yesterday, so I, I was also feeling pretty rough. But she, Emma, looks after me. It was lovely, so hopefully I'll be able to look after her tomorrow. But she's, she did tune in at the start of the stream as well. She's so supportive, man. She like pops onto all the streams we do. Uh, but yeah, she, I'll send, I'll send you best, dude. I'll send you best. I'm sure she'd appreciate hearing from you. Um, what are the flowers do you have? Dahlias. What do they signify? Insecurity. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to give her the wrong idea about me. What about the tall yellow ones? Those are iris, the flame of passion. And the little yellow ones? Sensuality. Well, they're no use to me. I want to make an impression, not jump down her throat. <laughs> okay. 
you know a young woman called Nicole Collin? Yes, I do. She lives upstairs from me, in the apartment block across the street. The door isn't locked, but you'll need to give it a gentle nudge. Oh it my God! Sticks, you see. Oh my God! She's telling me she's helping him. Landlord said he fixed it before winter. So if you try and get in the door before it's talking to her, it looks like it's locked. Years. So it forces you to talk to her. It's a very, very clever game. Very, the, the way they constructed it, it's mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's very clever. Right. Uh, where are we going? Yeah, I totally agree, Bobby. Um, she's not the best saleswoman. Yeah. Ever at all? She's um, yeah. <laughs> Nail on the head with that one. She's uh, obviously yeah. not going to make any money with that sort of business, is no, she? No, but I think that's uh, the Parisian way. Is very like relaxed in it. You know what I mean? Yeah, and super it, chill. And she also wanted to do your fortune, but you know, only takes a couple of minutes. That's not going to sell either, is it? You know. Right. But where am I off? Graham? You've got your conversation oh, still. Yeah. But I mean, you, you could just leave her and, and go in. You know, to get in. She's in for a shot when the cold weather comes. Drafty windows. Insufficient heating, it's a struggle to keep warm. The only reason I stay is because the rent is cheap. Your young lady, she deserves better. Well, that's nice of you, love. I thought Mademoiselle Collard was a successful photographer. Not as successful as she makes out for all her fine clothes. Oh, I've heard her cry. Well, the fine clothes are what we'd like. That's yeah. awful. Now, don't you let on that I've told you. She's proud, that one. Too proud, if you ask me. I've changed my mind. Will you tell my fortune? She's like a right nosy little old right nosy old woman. My oh my, what a surprise. Can you tell me anything <laughs> I don't already know? Ten francs, please, my dear. Yeah. Ten francs. Amazing. Amazing. She masquerades as a flower seller, but in fact. And that dates the game as well because francs are not euros. Yeah. Look, that's how old it is. It, it's crazy how old this game is considering what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah. Haven't you ever wondered why you were blessed with the gift? Well, it's a bit like satellite television, I suppose. Some of us are born with a, a built in receiver dish. I just happen to be one of the lucky ones. That's okay. not how satellite television works, is it? Only time will tell, monsieur. Clever. Strange thing is, I can't seem to see myself in the future. Other people, I have no problems. Because you'll be but dead, love. I try to see what might happen to me, nothing. That must be scary. Maybe. I figure it's a kind of natural safety mechanism. Either that. Or I don't have a future. Whoa. Whoa, man. Scary stuff. Yeah. Right. Do you recognize this nose? No, monsieur. <laughs> Fair enough. To the point. What can you tell me about this material? It's a very expensive piece of cloth, monsieur. Thanks, off. What can you tell me about this tissue? Nothing. Well, well, I'll uh... see you later. That's right, Monsieur. You win. That's very mm. foreboding, isn't it? Mm hmm. Okay. So that, um, that's her door there, just behind his head. Uh, oh. <clears throat> cool. So, what do you think then? This game, yeah, so I love far? it, man. Yeah, yeah. I, love it. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. did think you'd like it. Really cool. Push the door gently, just above the lock. <laughs> oh, wow. Just help himself in, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just walk it, walk straight in. It's normal. I love. You. I'm glad you could make it with you. Please call me George. Oh, I'm Nicole. Take a seat, George. This is an iconic scene. This scene comes back in all all the games. Right. right. It's good. I've been exploring what between these two or just this this. Sort of style. No, sorry. The, between these two, or just the style of scene? No, the, this actual scene, oh, really? the, her bedroom, yes, well, the her studio flat. Oh, wow. And I got his tailor's phone number. Yeah, better luck than I did. Luck, she said. Luck. Hard work, I'd call it. 
What happened? I took my photographs to the editor. I like the like mix of like internal dialogue and external dialogue. Mm. It's really it's cool. But you're not about to do that. No. I'm going to find out what's behind these killings. You know what I think? It's a conspiracy. I told you. I told you it was a conspiracy. The press don't connect them at all. They blame them on political, religious, or militant minority extremists. That covers just about everyone. <laughs> cool. Right. Let's get some. Let's get some more. What's that? May I use your telephone? Sure. Go ahead. Thanks. Bobby says she never. He never understood. Oh, she uh, hung her clothes up on the on the roof. See, um, I don't know if you've got the same. I mean, when I was younger, we used to have something similar. And you had like a pulley that you'd pull, and it'd, yeah. it'd bring it down. You put your clothes in it, and then you'd pull it the other side, and it'd put it back like a yeah. like a blind, you know. And yeah. you'd you'd put it up like that to bang stuff on. Um, I think it's quite a European thing, but we we also used to have one in the in the kitchen with pots and pans on it as well. Yeah, same thing. Hello. What yeah, mystery it? solved. Mr. Todrick? Oh, it's you again. What now? Nothing. <laughs> what? You, you need you need the uh, the killer's name. Oh, yeah, of course. Uh, 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 nothing. Forget you need it. to find out his name. So, what can you show Nico? Uh, all right, okay. Uh, I've got the red nose on her. Yeah. Uh, I found this false nose in the sewer. He was looking fatty. The contents of someone's nose? What? Don't because There's something in the red nose. It's a rarity du monde. Must be a costume. It's a costume shop near the Gare Saint-Lazare. Right, so that's I'll where we're going to go, isn't it? Maybe the owner remembers who hired the clown costume. Why can't you put it on, Josh? No way am I wearing this. I look really stupid. Besides, <laughs> might have had a cold. Mm -hmm. right. Obviously pre-COVID. Yes, indeed. Definitely pre-COVID. Right, okay. Uh, so... I found a piece of material near the cafe. Mm. Do, you to, do you have a look at my material, love? When I showed it to the concierge, he recognised it right away. It's very distinctive, all right. Just wait until you see this. I developed the film I shot at the cafe. Here, yeah, George, it's an enlargement I made. Yeah, I've got an enlargement for you. Look what that guy's wearing. Look. Checkered pants. The same material as I found in the sewer. That's right. This guy shouldn't be difficult to find. Oh, no? Take a close look at his left cheek. A scar in the shape of a horseshoe. Oh, a crescent moon. Or a banana. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's real sinister. And now, now you've got the picture look. Yeah. How come you enlarged this photograph of me? Because I noticed the guy behind you, of course. Yeah, guys. Okay. Right. Do you want this photograph back? No, you keep it. I can always make another print. Do you want this photograph no. back? No, you keep it. I can always make another print. Okay, cool. Well, I've got that now. Uh... I found this tissue down the sewer. My juice tissue. <laughs> oh, God, that's disgusting. <laughs> I think the stuff on it is grease paint, like actors use, or clowns. It's still disgusting. Get rid of it. Yeah. Don't like my juice tissue. Tell me more about yourself. Oh, that is not Mr. The chat line oh, coming out. To get into photography. I guess I owe that to my father. He bought my first camera. I was eight, and my parents had just split up. Okay, bloody hell. Did you live with your father? Deep. Yes, my mother went mm. off with her new boyfriend. I told mine. Papa was all I needed. Four years later, he died. It is the story, mom. and the, the oh, characters have got sorry. depth, man. Even more so in the director's cut. Mm. A lot of people don't like the director's cut because they took out some bits and right. like, changed lines and stuff. But there's an entire subplot with Nico. Really? Yeah, and you, you play as Nico for. A good chunk of the game. Wonderful. Did you learn about photography at college? <clears throat> no, I couldn't afford the materials. We were failed. They also take out all the death scenes, though, camera. which I don't like. Yeah. Most of my I like the the challenge of. I mean, it's, it's not really a challenge because I know the game, but like, yeah. like the back of my hand. Yeah, yeah. But I did like the challenge of uh, not knowing if you were going to die at a certain point. Yeah, and... of course. Yeah, of course. 
You're making fun of me, aren't you? Oh, no. Do you have a boyfriend? No, I'm pretty forward, aren't I? Uh, okay. Should we move on to the... Now use your telephone. Oh, sure. Before you're doing that, I'm sure this. Don't want to use telephone. Take it, turn it back. Carla says, hi, Graham. Nice to see you again. Love this game. Would love to play it again someday. Do you know what? Okay. This is this is one of my absolute favourite games, and it's definitely my favourite game series. Um, everyone should play it again. I mean, I used to play this game series like annually. Every every summer or Christmas, I'd, I'd just play the entire game all the way through. I'm gonna have to, in order to get out of this, I'm gonna have to call. No, no, you don't. Why not? No, how do I do it? X. Just go back. Hang on, where's your oh, right click? No, you can't, can you? Yeah, you see, I'll have to. I'll, I will have to no, speak bring, to... bring Nico. <laughs> oh, no, you can't. Oh, uh, I had to call him. This? I had to call him with no it's name. George Stobart again. <laughs> Sorry, oh, mate. Oh. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, I need to get. Oh, oh you've, got a, you've oh. got a phone. You've got a phone. You've got a picture. With scar on his face. Yes, yes. Wasn't a pointless maybe, decision. Maybe not. Tell me where I can find him, and I'll leave you alone. And if I don't, I won't leave you Free. alone. <laughs> I can't tell you anything unless you give me his name. All right. Okay. Well. Do you know where I can oh. find the guy with the scar? Oh. I told you. Okay. Without the name, yep. I can't help you. Okay, yeah. Thanks for nothing. Yep. Todrick. You need to get the guy's there's, name. There's a lot of passive aggression between. But if you go to where the the nose came from, you might get his name. Oh yeah. So you do a costume shop. Excuse me. To leave the conversation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going back out to search for that clown. Where? Well, I guess I could visit the costume shop. Good idea. Thank you. I appreciate the validation you've given me. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna have a look over here just because we can. Paris, mate. Don't have a problem with their consciences. Right, okay, cool. Uh, we've been in there. <laughs> so sorry. Just it's really, really, really gross. Uh, it's like Adam's family, isn't it? A little hand that yeah, just does yeah. its own thing. Right. So I can go over here. I glanced without much interest at the fruit. It was dusty, shriveled, and tired looking. It's like my dick. <laughs> um, right. It's like my mother. <laughs> so do I, I don't have to go back to it now? No, you can leave oh, back right. where you came from, if oh, you remember. Sorry. You... Oh, You've done oh, it again. You keep clicking off the screen. Sad. That's what she said. Um, there, you go. there you go. Let's get to the uh, get to the costume shop. Figure out where the red nose come from, and then we'll uh, go to a second. Oh, is this a good time? I don't know. Should we do? The, should we do the? Should we do the? I, I do, do the next area. Yeah. Do the costume shop, yeah, and then, yeah, yeah. then we'll uh, yeah, yeah. we'll call it a night. Because we've got we've got another string to do over on the Give Me Your Whole Year Wrestling podcast. I hate to break it to you, Don, but Bobby's laughing at you. <laughs> well, Bobby can laugh at me. Yes. No, we have not got to the G string yet, right? So I want to be going to Larise Dumont. Yeah. Larise Dumont. Unfortunately, top of the uh, G string is the next game, um, and the the contents of the briefcase we haven't got yet, but that may happen. Okay. What was I expecting to happen? This has got one of the best lines in the entire game in it. Um, when you speak to him, well, when you finish the conversation with him, Excuse rather, me. don't interrupt Bonjour, it. It's Monsieur. brilliant. Please come in. Welcome. Leave the mundane world behind. For in these four walls, fantasy is king. <laughs> yeah, there's the money in the bank contract. I was going to cash it in. Didn't you ever dress up when you were a child? Not that I remember. Incredible. You'll be telling me next that you never shared your elder sister's lingerie. I don't have a sister. And have I you ever worn I'm lingerie? No. It's, it's quite comfortable. I can't imagine it is. How can I yeah. ask, ask Topper. He's the one that's wearing G-strings. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. Don't knock it till you've tried it, Graham. <sighs> right. Do you want this red nose back? 
Not after. Oh, but I give it back. Thank you. It's evidence. You should really hand that you into the police. Not after it's been worn. Thank you. All right. Okay. Do you recognize this man? It's getting sinister again. Oui, monsieur. I sold him some grease paint. Ooh. Does this dirty tissue mean anything to you? Just a tissue. Hmm. Let me smell that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Best Imer's number seven white pancake. Theatrical grease paint. Right. Mm. La creme de la creme of Cespion accoutrement. Have you sold any of it recently? I love it, mate. I love yes, the accent. Two can. Two cans, right? Okay. Uh, have you heard of a man named Plantar? I do not. I love Rocky Horror anyone. Topper, but um, I've never dressed up for it. I've seen it a few you, times, but I've dressed never dressed up, up oh, for it. Mate. I've got a Rocky Horror T-shirt that's way too small for me now. That oh, I, I, I used to wear all the time. I'm looking for a man who hired a clown costume from you. The man whose photograph you showed me, he hired two costumes. Two? Yes, Bozo the Clown and Seamus the Pixie. Seamus the Pixie. Can. Can. A Middle Eastern man, I would think. Can. Can. A scar on his face. Can. In the shape of a crescent moon. Bobby says, Guy loves a face full of cheese back. back. <laughs> How come Who doesn't? So Who doesn't? I think he does something to do. Gotta try anything once, man. Nature. Personally, I think clowns should be banned, along with mimes. Oh, come now. Who doesn't love clowns? Me, for one. All right, so you got the guy's name then. Yeah. So what else do you need? So I need to call Thingy Die. Um, called Todrick. Todrick, yeah. But I ain't got off. I need to go. So I need to go back to her house. This right. Close the conversation and just yeah. just what this is comedy gold. My pleasure, Monsieur. Just watch Allow this. Allow me to shake you by the hand. Oh, well, okay. Amazing. It's this bit was. What are you trying to do? Kill me? You did not find it amusing. I never saw the funny side of electroshock therapy. Eh bien, it is yours to keep. A gift? Do I need a license? No. <laughs> I give you a word of warning, monsieur. What? Remember to switch it off before you visit the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not a comedy game, but yeah. there's, there's some very, very witty dialogue in it. I'll, I'll, I love this game. Some lovely moments, yeah. Right, so I want to go back to... That's it might be easier to go to the cafe because the, the phone's easier to get that way. Oh, yeah. It? yeah. It's a bit quicker. No, so he's back. Oh, ah, have a catch up with him. Go on. Go on then. <laughs> guy loves them dolphins. Hi. You're the guy who gave me the tip, aren't you? Huh? The racehorse. Salah Oh. Yeah, but. I put every friend I had on that horse. Oh, has he lost it all? My life just... savings. Next oh, no. Month, Everything. We destroyed oh his life. God. You won by three lengths. I'm a rich man. Amazing. Oh, you're lucky, George. <laughs> you're Hunter's friend. So how come you're still here? Oh, uh, I'm not going to let my newfound wealth change me. Not one bit. I yeah. bought this hole, fittings and all. Now I can come and go as I please. No more clocking on or completion schedules. No foreman breathing down my neck. Thanks to you. I found paradise. Amazing. I'm getting a mushy feeling in my chest. <laughs> not half as mushy as your head. Uh, <laughs> you <are now. laughs> use your phone, mate. Oh, wait, can I? <gasps> yeah, go for it. Yeah, go Would for it. Would you like to shake hands with me? No, I wouldn't. One of the real pleasures of being rich is not having to be polite. <laughs> Would you like to shake hands oh, with me? No, I wouldn't. One of the real pleasures Good. of being rich is not having to be polite. Show him the photo. Let me shake my hand if I show him the photo. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? No, I don't. No, nah, well. All right, yeah, leave the conversation and try and use this phone. Well, oh, yeah, I have to do that then. Yeah. I gotta go. Don't let me tip you. All right. Todrick. Todrick, let's do this. Hello? Who is this? 
But you know who I am. Oh. It's me again. I found out the name of the guy I'm looking for. Is that so? Yeah. It's Khan. You know Khan! Khan! Don't you? <laughs> yeah, it's a deliver the suit to his hotel. The Hotel Ubu. Uh, I uh, don't remember the room number. It was upstairs. The second room it's a bit on the right hand side of the corridor. Thanks, Todrick. That's all I wanted to know. Now I've got you, Mr. Clown. Mm. Should we go get the clown first? And then leave it. I would say go to the hotel and then we'll save it there and call yeah. it a night. Right, cool, 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 cool. Yeah, I'm I'm kind of in I'm kind of in it now. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It's really, really good this game. I'll definitely need a cup of tea in it. Like... I don't know if you've noticed as well, but every time <clears throat> right. every time you, you do something new, yeah. the music changes, but it fits in seamlessly mm. with the background music. Yeah, yeah, it's really... And I believe oh. I could be wrong. Um, I might have to ask Tony about this, but I believe it was part of the. It, it's what they called the. You know, every every game is made with an engine, like yeah. the Unreal Engine. This is made with the Theater Engine, which was made by um, Revolution Software. Oh, amazing! And in Lure of the Temptress, it was so every character could just walk off and and independently work, do its own thing. In this, um, it was the music parts of it and stuff. But yeah, I'd save it now, and we'll. Uh, We'll call it a night. Do you want to carry on? Oh, I want to go. If I go upstairs, so is it, I mean, I feel like I'm, r I'm running through it because I do want to engage with these people, but I also want to see who's in the room. Well, I'll, I'll tell you now, you're not going to get in the room for another 10 minutes or so. You've got oh. certain obstacles to get oh, right. through. Okay. Uh, well, we'll but it's get the, the second on the right, if you remember. We'll get in the you, room. Can, you can try it. It's the second on the right. That's the third on the right. Oh, right yeah. You can't count. I can't count. You can't count. The door was locked. <laughs> so, have you ever done this in like a Premier Inn? Just like going around checking all the doors? No, why would the I have done that? Was locked. You're doing it in the game. You're in charge of him. Second on the right. So that's the second yeah, it's that one. Like I say, you can't get into the it door yet. Was locked. You need the key. Oh, you fucking kidding me. You're not going to get the key because... You know, this mystery killer's already got the key. So you have to get... Well, I'll tell you what happens. You need to get the key for next door, because that's a, empty. And then need to sneak into the, you know, to the right door. But, yeah, I would save it there. So if you press press escape and... Uh, uh, I, need, I need to get the key. And then we'll stop. Well, the, the, guy at the, um, the guy at the counter's got the key. What do you mean, counter? Go to the left. Also, there's another phone there you can use as well if you uh, if you want to use the phone again. There's also one in the police station. I haven't been to the police station yet. No. Nope. You... This guy. All right, okay. Cool. Absolute tosser. Okay, cool. There was no one registered under the name of Khan. If the killer was Khan, sorry. A different pseudonym. <laughs> the Wrath of Khan. There was no one registered under the name of well, Khan. Well, he ain't got my key the then, has he? Was there. he used a there's a key on the on the thing but you need to talk to him i am talking to him no you're not you're clicking on his book all oh, right <laughs> i want some information i like how he's got earplugs in it's great isn't it i'm conducting a private investigation ah i know but, oh, man, well, but, like mean. i noticed and the flags like flickering outside, outside and i was like this is 996 it's like it's, it's crazy isn't it yeah, yeah. This could easily be an animated movie. Easily. <gasps> Go for it. Hey, shake my hand. I'd rather not, monsieur. <laughs> I'll steal the order from the shop administered by one of the guests. He was secretly concealing an electrical device in the palm of his hand. Practical jokes are so puerile, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Sure. I like how this guy over on the right, he's reading his paper and you can hear the, the, yeah. the paper move and that while he's doing it. It's just... Do you have a guest by the name of Khan? No, monsieur. Perhaps you would care to check the register. Oh, I'll show him a photograph. Ah, oh, yes. Do you recognize the man in this photograph? Yes, monsieur. That man is one of our guests. What name? <laughs> I cannot tell you that. Ah, oh, mate. Leave this conversation for now. We'll come back. Thanks for your help, buddy. Th like, these two people are important, right? Him less so in this edition. In the director's cut, he's got a bigger role. Um, Excuse me. 
Didn't I see your picture in the news? You're that Nobel Prize winner from some unpronounceable Eastern European state. Yes, that is me in Tokyo. I don't want to worry you, but have you had any threats on your life? You know, mysterious phone calls, letters made up of headlines cut from the newspaper. I don't know what you're talking about. Right, a couple of new people join us. Uh, feel free to comment. You know, we'll we'll address any comments and that. You know, give us suggestions. I've played this game before. Dom is completely virginous to this game. He's never played it before. Never played this type of game before. Yeah, right. And he's enjoying it. I wonder if he'll shake my hand. What does this clown's nose suggest to you? In my country, we have no use for clowns. I'm glad to hear it. I reckon he's a clown. You reckon? That, that bouncy guy with the... He's, he's got the perfect story, ain't he? Sounds like heaven. He's a Nobel Peace Prize winner. But, yeah, there's no reason why... Shake his hand, shake his hand, shake his hand. Shake everyone's hand. I want to shake... May I shake you by the hand? I no. I not shake the hands of imperialist lords. <laughs> That's a real bad attitude problem you've got there. Maybe. You've got a photo with a clown. Why would you think it's him? He's got a scar on his face and everything. Anyway, leave leave that conversation and go yeah. go talk to the oh, pianist. She's actually from Beneath the Steel Sky, right? Um, and she appears in future games as well oh, in the wow. series. Uh, she's called Lady Paymont, and she is fucking brilliant. Amazing. She's one of the best characters. Continuity. In the game. Oh yeah. Well, hello. <laughs> <laughs> what can I do for you? I'm looking for a man. You disappoint me. For <laughs> one foolish moment, I thought. But, but never, never mind. mind. Aren't you going to tell me your name? The George. The George Stobart, ma'am. <laughs> no, I once had a stable boy called George. I am Lady Piermont. The common reaction is to kneel and stutter, but it's not a bigotry. A real Amazing. She's lovely. She's great, isn't she? You're an honest to God aristocrat? Oh, I don't know about that. Mild spoiler, she gets a kit off in the fifth game. <laughs> well, well, there you go. It's worth playing the full series just for that moment. Beneath that impressive pedigree, I'm just flesh and blood. The blood may be the flesh is the plump beef of old England, so to speak. You appear distracted, George. Is there any way I can tell you? Amazing. Uh, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't want to shake her hand. Oh God, shake her hand. Shake. Oh. Honestly, shake everyone's hand. It's funny. That's right. <clears throat> it was worn as a disguise by a vicious killer. It's the music and the way it switches. It's true. He uses the name Khan. Bobby says Lady Paymont definitely has some used hey. tissues of her own. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. I agree with that. She's a mucky old bear, isn't she? This, this is great. Watch this. She represented everything I loved about the English. The lady was totally deranged. <laughs> Merlin? You mean King Arthur's wizard? Good heavens, no! Monsieur Merlin is a fellow guest. Mmm. I can call the dude now. Where's the phone? No, it, it means you can go to the desk and say it's Merlin. But anyway, talk to her because it, it, it's yeah, funny. Yeah. But we do have to call it an eye. Does this tissue we do have to mean go. anything to you? No, we do. Good call. I just thought the smell might be familiar. Please, darling, put it away. You're <laughs> thinking violet, but that object makes me feel quite crazy. <laughs> Go, on, Go on, do it. Would you like to shake my hand, ma'am? Now, George, there's no need to be so formal. We met as tourists, and I want to keep it that way, despite the enormous social gulf between us. Ah. Oh. There are some people that you can shake the hand off, but normally every character you try and shake the hand off, you get something funny back. I've had anything down here. I've spoken about these guys. No, no, go for it. If it's still the there, it means there's something good to say. Is a fake. What do you mean, sweetie? He's a murderer. <coughs> he also uses the name Khan. Khan! Sorry. Shooketh. Shaken. I took him to be a gentleman, a man of honor. You know, I'd rather like to assist you in stitching him up. Okay. Mm. When did you last see Merlin? It was no more than an hour ago. He came downstairs and spoke to that clerk, chappy. Something passed hands. 
I couldn't see what exactly. A briefcase? Ooh. No, smaller than that. A bundle of papers, perhaps. The clerk put it in the hotel safe and Merlin went out. Hmm. Are you sure you saw Merlin putting documents in the safe? Yes, darling. Positive. I wonder what they were. Obviously something of great importance. Yeah. I'd sure like to get my hands on whatever it is. I'll bet they had something to do with Plantow's briefcase. Okay. Has Merlin returned to the hotel? No, he hasn't. Oh, no, no, no. We'll be here all night. <laughs> no, it's fine, it's fine. I just go to the dudes, get the key, and then it's not as simple as that. I needed to get away after Algie's feud. I didn't realize you were mourning the loss of a loved one. I'm not. He was my husband. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry to hear about your husband's death. You wouldn't be if you knew him, my dear. It gave me the opportunity to take a well-deserved holiday. Daphne suggested a change of scenery. Paris, she said. The world romance is just what you need to take your mind off the inquest. Well, the closest I came to romance was being wooed by a drunken Breton ship. I must say I was disappointed with his cocker bar. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking of cutting my holiday short, packing my bags and heading back to Devil Hempstead. That was until last night. Oh dear. Bobby says, just carry on playing, well, Don. We would, but we've got uh, me and Graham yeah. have a prior engagement with the <clears throat> Gimme Your Whole Year podcast, which is our wrestling podcast, uh, Bobby. But if you fancy joining us on there to talk about wrestling, you're more than welcome. What happened to you last night? I was stricken, Mr. Sturbot. Cupid's arrow has cleft my bosom. You didn't really miss. It was just as <laughs> I'd always imagined it should be. It's so sacky, but it's children. great. This is amazing. This is amazing. And then the stranger's glance. Those brooding eyes, that suave manner, those tight trousers. <laughs> he was the man I'd been waiting for all my life. I'm glad he finally turned up after all these years. Ah, oh, but it wasn't to be. He was merely toying with my affections. And if I ever catch up with him, he's dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! Am I okay? It's good, isn't it? Right. So now you need to go get the key. Go, okay. Well, no, you don't go get the key. You talk to the yeah fella on the what's it? Uh, the fella on, on, on the, the desk, and now you've got a name to give him. It's a beautiful scenery, isn't it? Yeah, it's incredible. Hey, mate. He's still like he's got some up, up his bum, doesn't he? What now, monsieur? I've got a name for you, mate. Uh, what's that? That's the safe, because you want the thing out of uh, the safe as well, don't right, you? Right, okay, so hang on a second. What do I need here? Um, what was your, oh. Do you know a man named Plantow? Oh. No, monsieur. Okay. I'm looking for a man who dresses like a clown. This is a highly respectable hotel, monsieur. There are no clowns here. If you say so. Okay. Uh, Did you notice the two fellas stood outside the hotel when you walked in? Yeah. Did you talk to them? You yeah. didn't, did you? I'd like to it's fine. It's fine. Ah, I'm just you. judging you. It's fine. You're rushing straight to the hotel. I wanted to rush in because I was trying to, uh, sell, the, the, trying to sell the crime. Plenty of time. I don't drive. Your passport. I don't have it with me. I can show you my operation scar. I'm sorry, monsieur. I must have some form of unique ID. You won't find a more unique ID than my scar. I'm sorry. <laughs> I must insist on a more traditional identification. Rats. Right. Mm. So I can't. Okay. But Lady Paymont said she'd help you stitch him up. So you might have to go back and talk to her. See what I mean? It takes a while to get up into that room. I see, yeah, okay. Wow. We don't need that, we don't need that dude. There you go. How do I block that dude? Oh, I can't remember how to do it. Yeah, I'm sure do it. Some spam. Uh, right, let's go back to it. 
Can I, propo- can I promote oh, yeah. the spam? No. <laughs> <clears throat> right, hang on then. So what am I? So she's just she help us stretch him up. But what do I need to? What's the symbol I need? Can we try getting the key? What do you mean getting the key? Well, you have to try and get the key as well, don't you? Well, I got the key. I went back there and you didn't give me the key. Well, no, you need to look at the key and then you need to ask him about it. You know, there's lots of different things you need to do. Well, do you well, look at the key? Yeah, go go back over there again. I'll show you. You have to end the conversation oh. first. Sick. You're not enjoying this anymore. You're I stressed am. out. No, I am. I just, I'm, like, I'm, I'm like. There you go. What's on the wall? Oh, hang on a minute. Right click on it. No. Oh, where are we? A brass hook was a key in the plastic. God damn it. Okay, there we go. Yes. So I can just take that key. Of course not. You are trying to steal that key. <laughs> no way. No way. <laughs> right, can I can I, can I just talk to him? Hey, not too smart. Just looking. Fine. What now, Monsieur? I want the key, mate. About the key hanging on the hook over there. We, oui, monsieur. Which room is it for? Number 21. Is that room taken? No. The guests checked out this morning. Huh? I'd like to check into room 21. Yes. That is not possible. Why? How come you said it was vacant? <laughs> it is reserved for another guest. Because I want to get... I want to get... We've got we've got things to do, but I really want to see what happens. <laughs> That's why I'm I'm like, right. So I need to get out of there. Thanks for your help, buddy. Ah, oh, you dickhead. Now go talk to Piermont. Where's my suggestive finger? <laughs> right, all right, love. Fancy a quickie. I think she would. I think, I think she she'd would snap you like a twig, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, George. Hello. Oh, oh, yes, mate. Yes, mate. Go on, love. Asking me to aid you in a criminal yes. act, darling. Yes, love. Oh, no. It's the key to an empty room. And why, may I ask, do you wish to gain access to an empty room? Do you plan to sport? No, ma'am. Scared for them? I was never in the Boy Scouts, ma'am. Oh, you should have been. What were your parents thinking of? <laughs> it's a fine way for a boy to get licked into shape. Oh my God. Now tell me, why do you want to get into that room? I'm hoping it's the key to Merlin's room. Well, how can I refuse? Yes. I shouldn't think Come my on. feminine charms would be much used in this case. But a good dose of English arrogance. Might do the trick. <laughs> Come on then, love. Let's go. Come for me, George. Bye then. Look at her walk, look. Go on, love. Go on. I say, you love, flunky. Breathe, <laughs> madam. Listen carefully. <laughs> Amazing. You do understand English, don't you? But of course, madam. Good. I wish to deposit some jewellery for safekeeping. I understand. Are you quite certain? Oh, yes, sir, madame. Awesome. Right, go on, love. You. Over to you, my dear. I love it. I love it. I love it. Quick, She's this is time, so crack on. Quick. It's time. What do you mean it's time? It's 1996, this he'll, game. He'll come back. Give me his time. Right, you, you've got a key. Go. No. Go, go upstairs. Oh, right. Go use the key. Go use the key. I'm Break going, in. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. It's like it's 1996. It's not timed. It's ridiculous. No, that bit was timed. He'd come as back if, again after a couple of if, seconds. Man, as if it was timed. Ah, right. Second door. Come on, mate. Get in. The door was locked. Do you want about? It was locked. We need to use. The, you've got an inventory. You need to use your key. Right. You need to select your key. Use it on the door. Oh, right, yeah, I'm with you, right. Okay, there's me key, right. Off you. All oh, right, yeah, yes. 
It wasn't the right key for the door. I told you earlier on, I said you can't get in that door. What are you so want about, Graham? You need to get into the other door. What are you want about, well, you, 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 And you've you just clicked on that, knowing that you need to click the key on it first. You've led me down a path. No, I haven't. You, 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 Minx. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it wasn't the right room, but this was the right key. Hey, up. Right, so you need to get next door. All oh, right. This is just a normal room. Okay. There was nothing in the wardrobe apart from a vague, lingering smell of camphor. It's camphor. I do. Um... I on TV, right? Okay, so we're next door. Oh, there's a freaking window there. I'm climbing in the window, mate. That's what I'm doing. Hmm. No, I'm actually doing it. Before you do this, just press escape. And save it. No, not of your auto save. Press number two. Sound sphere. Type in sound sphere. What's your name? <laughs> <laughs> right, oh. out the out the out the window. Now, have I, have I asked you to save it because you're in danger are or you because... Are you kidding me? I'm in... <laughs> or because I'm trying to wind you up. Oh, my God, Graham. Click it. Go for it. You've just saved it. What's the worst going to happen? If I wanted my shin sticking out of my shoulders, I could have jumped. <laughs> Mama Stobart didn't raise no suicidal fools, though. It's where he slips like Whoa. yes. I can hear your bloody heartbeat from here. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You're in. See, I know what happens. What do you mean? Oh well, no, I've I've played this game to oh, what's that? What? Nothing. There's something in there. Right click on it. The interior of the closet was large enough for me to climb right in. Why would I... Handy. See, move, move your cursor around and see if you can actually oh. use the... The closet was a solid, impressive piece of antique furniture. Solid, impressive piece of ass. <laughs> right. What the fuck is that thing you're doing? <sighs> uh. There was nothing in the pockets of the pants. There was nothing in the pockets of the pants. The pockets of the pants. What am I supposed to do here? The interior of the closet was large enough for me to climb right well, in. Well, I can't get in there, can I? Obviously, right. Right, okay. Well, I guess we're going up the door then. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Who's that? That's Khan. Khan! Uh oh. <laughs> I gotta get in the closet. I gotta get in the closet, Graham. Get in the closet. I didn't even need to do it. Bang in. Come on. Still wearing the pants, look. What? <laughs> Are you all right? It's definitely, the, oh, it's definitely the clown. We found the clown. <gasps> What's this? Ah, oh, the pants. The pants. We're here. We're I need to get rid of Graham. But I don't know. I've got, what have I done with his? Am I pocketing some of his stuff? Yeah. I couldn't believe my luck when I found two items in the pockets of the pants. The first wow. was an ordinary matchbook. No <sighs> matches, no clues. The second Exciting. was a pass card which read Thomas Merlin, Gruber Electronics Corporation. Got a name. 
I've just done have I just done that? Or is there something else? Mm -hmm. There was nothing else in the pockets of the killer's pants. But you could maybe use the ID to yeah. retrieve something from the safe. Ah, right. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Shall we save it and come off it? Or do you want to do another bit? I'll tell you what. We've got well. Let's we, let's do it up until midnight. Like, we've got like we've got half an hour if we go till midnight, and we've got to get the fight stream up and all that bollocks. And then if Anthony's sleeping, which he probably is, it means I need to set the stream up. So we can do let's do five more minutes. Okay. Let's get to the safe. Okay. And call it a day. Okay. Because yeah. I love the piano playing, love, she's great. Hey up. Have you checked the ledger for um, Thomas Merlin? Oh, no. Merlin. Merlin. If you have the subtitles on, it's um, it's Merlin, but no M-O-E. But the name in the book for room 22 was Merlin. Merlin. Yeah, I talked to him. What now, monsieur? I've got me safe now, mate. What do I do with the, oh shit, if I give him the keys, I know I've got it. I'll try it. Do you recognize this key? <laughs> that is the proper key of the <laughs> Correct. May I ask how it found its way from the little book to your pocket? Would you believe it was put there by a poltergeist? No, monsieur. <laughs> the hotel is regularly serviced by an exorcist. If we had a ghost, Father Fecon would have flushed it out. I suppose you want the key back. Not his special mom. The room is vacant. Since you are so determined to conduct your little investigation, I won't stop you. Yeah, Carlo, yeah, we're working. This is the first time we've done it, so we're working on uh, getting the audio right. We will do for all future streams. If you've come from the um, the Broken Sword group um, and you've seen my post, do, do me a favour and drop me a message. Um, because we might need your help, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we want to do more of this stuff for sure. Um, right, so show him your ID card. Oh, yeah, hold on, I can't click on him. I might have... You're already talking to him, you're oh, in the trees yeah, at the top. Course, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're getting there, you're getting yeah, used get, to the interface. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, 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 I'm getting well, is that the ID? That's the yeah. that is Monsieur Merlin's property. That's right, Merlin the murderer. I want to see what he's left in your safe. Impossible. I cannot betray his confidence, no matter what you say he's done. You're making a big mistake. Maybe. I can live with that. Okay, so he's not going for that. What's that there? That's the matchbook. Try the photo. Have you used the photo with him yet? Is this Merlin room 22? Uh, I couldn't say. It's a bad likeness. This photo was taken by one of Europe's most promising photojournalists. Raymond? What does he use? A pin oil camera? It's very sassy, isn't he? It is. Right. I think... I'd now potentially go and speak to Piermont again. <sighs> to finish the conversation first. Yeah. Thanks for your help, buddy. So, of everyone you've met so far in the game, who's your who's your favourite character? Oh, Lady Paramount's amazing. I love her. Oh, closely following. Follow me, Joe. I can't do it because my throat's a bit funny after last yeah. week, but yeah. Hello, Joe. What can I do for you now? <laughs> closely followed by the uh, by the uh, dude in the pole, who's now a millionaire because I made him a millionaire. Right then, so I'm gonna I'm gonna. I found this pass in Merlin's room. So, that deceitful little man is passing himself off as an electrician, is he? Uh-huh. This guy probably has a million faces. I showed the pass to the clerk, hoping he'd give me Merlin's papers, but he wouldn't buy it. He's too scared. I'll give him something to be scared of. Follow me, George! <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Right. That's what I was trying to imitate, but I can't do it. I've got Paul Paulie right. voice. Right. This is brilliant, this. 
Did you place a package from Merlin in the hotel safe? I did, madam. And did my friend here show you Merlin's identification? Indeed he did, but... What's the problem? He isn't Merlin. A mere academic detail <laughs> given the package. <laughs> but that is against the law. I happen to be a justice of the peace, you silly man. I am the law. If you try to... I am the law. My pleasure, Lady Spearmont. One moment, please. Amazing, amazing. You know, I haven't enjoyed myself this much as Green and Common. I don't know what I would have done without you, Lady Piermont. She is amazing. Who is this? Voila, Monsieur. Le manuscrit de Monsieur Merlin. Thanks. Okay, cool. Right. right. Okay. And I would say. The clerk had given me a tightly rolled sheet of parchment. To finish it off. I decided not to unroll it until yeah. I was safely back in Nico's apartment. I would say, we'll let you go to Nico's apartment, but first, save it. Okay, no, we're gonna, we'll, we'll, no, we'll, we'll, we'll save it. We'll do it. We'll, that, that's, because we need to, we have got something yeah. to sort of. Uh, right, okay, so there's save. Cool. But very quickly, I'll let you, just, just. Go to Nico's apartment. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Because right, right. um, you're about to have... Right, so I need to go back. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to show you a fatal mistake you've made. What, because I didn't speak to the people? You're going to tell me because I didn't speak to the people? No, no I'm just... Well, you'll see, you'll see. Oh, I, I will let you discover oh, what happens. Yeah, but I don't want to know. Just a minute, monsieur. Oh. What's your problem? No problem. Easy. Oh, what do you no. want? Just a routine security check. Nothing to worry yourself about. Oh, well, all right. Search him, Flat. You bet. <laughs> oh, dear. Hey, knock it off. Get off, you big ape. Bobby says, uh oh. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Is this what you're after, Kino? See, that's it. It's a I proper conspiracy, isn't it? Well, the clown's at the center of it all. Too late. You're on your way to feed the fish. I'm allergic to fish. I yeah. break out in blanches when I eat tuna. Let's go. Bridge time. Bridge time. Oh my god. Is that me? That is you. Why are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> so I need to talk to the guys. No, no, no. Um, I'll let you think about it, um, and by the time we get on to doing it again, uh, what, next week? Yeah, yeah, next week, next week. Yeah, um, yeah, you think about it between now and then, and see if you can come up with a plan. All right, I, I don't want to give you any tips or anything, but don't, don't Google it, don't ruin it for yourself. Okay. Like, myself and all, all these viewers all want to see you struggle. <laughs> oh, God, right. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Thanks for your help. Somebody could have put it in the comments. <laughs> Dude, no, I could have said something. Yeah, you could have said something. Anyway, it's been a pleasure. Um, sorry, uh, like I say, first time we've ever done anything like this, uh, game stuff uh, on the channel. So thank you for your support. We'll get an audio interface uh, for next time uh, so we can figure that out. Uh, we are operating on a Mac. It was an absolute ball ache to sort this out. So if you come in and watching back, we appreciate all of your support. Thank you so much. Now give us a like and a subscribe so we can do more of these. Me and Graham will come back and continue this series probably once a week. Um, so hopefully you can join us and we'll uh, we'll see you again soon. Cheers, guys. Thanks so, thanks so much, guys. Take it easy. I'll put on our, uh, our nice little brand as we finish off there. There you go. Look at how professional we are. Cool. Bye, guys. See you later.